for a few moments and connecting with the breath. Feel free to close the eyes and notice how the body feels. This time at the beginning of practice is also an opportunity to relax and calm the mind. After a few moments of breathing fully and slowly through the nose, you'll gently open the eyes and drop the hands down to the knees. Continue to extend up through the spine feeling lightness in your torso and sinking down through the seat. We'll begin moving in the spine by extending the chest and the chin forward as we inhale and then reaching back with the exhale, tucking the chin down towards the throat. Inhale, lifting forward, lifting up through the heart and then reaching back, strongly pulling that chin in. One more time moving with your own breath rhythm, allowing the breath to move slowly through the nose. We will return to a nice long spine and drop the arms down the sides. And now we'll warm up the spine by moving side to side, starting with your left arm, lift it up towards the ceiling, and then side bend. The spine continues to extend, and your seat continues to sink. Take two or three breaths in this posture, and then allow the inhale to lift you back up to center and float you down to the other side. Remember the breath is one of the mo most important aspects of yoga practice. You should always be able to breathe comfortably. Come back up to center and both arms will float back down to the sides. Let's warm up the legs by doing a forward fold. And the inhale will bring the arms up towards the ceiling. Pull up the lower abs as you fold down, allowing the arms to float down towards the ground. If it's available, you will continue to lower. Here's another opportunity to tuck the chin down into the chest, once again stimulating the thyroid. A deep breath in will bring your body up. Feel free to walk the hands towards the feet. You can also raise them up towards the ceiling. Okay. We'll need to switch the legs. So taking them forward first and then folding them back again. This time the other leg will be in front. Sitting nice and tall. Let's bring a little bit more movement into the neck. So imagine a pencil at the tip of the nose and start drawing a circle right in front of the face. Move slowly and take all of your awareness to the neck and the throat. After a few rotations, switch direction. Perhaps making those circles a little bigger and always feel free to linger in a certain area if you find a space with some extra tension. The inhale will return you to center and reach up through the spine. One more movement for the spine to warm it up. We'll bring it into a twist. So as you inhale, inhale arms halfway up and twist over to the left, slowly dropping the arms down towards the ground. Continue twisting all the way through the neck and also feel free to reach the eyes. The twists originate from the spine. So every inhale lift up a little taller and every exhale feel free to twist just a bit more. The next breath will move to the other side, inhaling the arms up and twisting all the way over to the other side. And once again, strong straight spine lifts us up on the inhale and the exhale allows us to twist a little bit more into the neck. After a few breaths on each side, we'll return to center. And 
we'll stretch out the other hip by folding forward one more time. A nice big breath in, lifting up the arms, lifting through the spine, and lower, reaching the collarbone forward, relaxing your arms. And once again, tuck the chin in, some strong breaths through the throat. Relax your knees and your hips here. And just feel the tension melting out of the body. Remember to use your abs as you come up. And again, you can walk the hands to the legs or you can lift them up towards the ceiling. Let's stretch the legs forward, releasing the hips. And we'll bring ourselves into standing after our warm up. So bringing the legs in, heels close towards the body. Feel free to move through a squat, sending the head down, forward, lifting the seat into a forward fold. If that's not available, make your way up however is possible for your body. And then next breath will bring us up nice and slow, vertebrae by vertebrae, rolling up. Let your arms be heavy, let your head and chin be heavy into a standing mountain posture. Arms relax the spine long. Return to your breath here. Feel free to close the eyes and take a moment to look within and notice how your body feels. The next few movements will be working on creating a nice blood flow throughout the whole body. So starting with a moving forward fold. Gently open the eyes and inhale the arms, bringing them up. Exhale, squeeze the abs and come down halfway, creating a right angle with the body. If your back is uncomfortable here, feel free to bend the knees. Remember to breathe that slow, deep breath. After a couple of breaths, folding down all the way, sending the hips back and straightening the legs if that is available. Release the head completely in your forward fold. Just notice the weight of the spine. Your arms can rest on the ground or you can take your hands to the elbow. To come out of the posture, release your grasp. Squeeze the abs, gently bend the knees and start bringing the body up, lifting the arms and inhaling the body back into mountain. The next posture is another variation of forward fold with the legs wide. Take your stance wide. Okay. Once you lift the arms, the ankles should be close to being underneath the wrists. Turn your toes inward a little bit. Now here, do a little check. Reach down and see if you can grab the ground. If that is not comfortable, you'll need to step away and grab your block. You can also use a book or anything around the house that resembles a block. With the inhale, take the arms up and overhead, lengthen through the spine, and as you exhale, take those hands to the hips. One more little back bend here, inhaling, stretching through the throat, and leading with the heart, bring yourself down halfway, dropping the hands either to the block or to the ground. We're going to move the arms side to side with the breath. So lift up as you inhale and exhale, bring the arm back down, alternating one arm, bend the other, following the hand with your gaze and stretching through the throat with every twist. Continue for about three, four or five repetitions, depending on what your time allows for. We'll do one more here. Once you're done, release both hands back down to the block. Take a moment, lengthen the spine, tuck the chin, and as you exhale, take the hands to the hips and inhale yourself back up into a nice straight spine. Heel toe the to feet together into mountain posture. We're going to continue working with our legs by walking to the front of the mat 
And you may want to have your block available for you in the front. In mountain posture, the feet are separate, the arms are relaxed. Big breath in, one more but forward fold. So take the arms up and then float down into a forward fold. Remember, there's an option to bend the knees. Inhale halfway up, looking up, stretching through the throat. And as you exhale, bend the knees. And let's take the right leg back into a lunge. In a lunge, you want to have your hips lower than the chest, the spine extending, and that back leg reaching away from you. The block is there available if you need a little height to lift the chest. After a few breaths, pushing strongly through the front heel, drop the hands back down to the ground and take that back foot forward, lifting up halfway, and we'll do the other leg. Once again, dropping down, bend the knees, left leg back this time. Extend through the spine. Left leg reaching back and feel the length of your body. Lots of weight in the legs. The breath moving smoothly. As you exhale, bend the knee in the back and take that foot forward one more time. Inhaling halfway up again. And this time we're going to take it into a down dog, dropping the hands and stepping all the way back. First, making yourself comfortable, lifting the seat into your down dog. The arms are flat, straight, shoulders engaged, and the spine and tailbone reaching up. Inward, rotate your upper thighs and sink through the heels. Now tuck your chin. Strong breath through the nose. As we exhale, bend the knees and sink into a child's posture. Tops of the feet are on the ground. And the arms can relax in front or you can take them down the sides. After a few breaths, relaxing here, noticing. We'll come on to the back. You start lifting up if you feel slightly dizzy take a few extra breaths to transition onto your back preparing for bridge posture we'll practice regular bridge and then moving bridge where we will use a strap lay flat on the back with the heels close to the buttocks the feet hips width apart drop the hands down the side Couple strong deep breaths. And to come into bridge, we push the heels into the ground as we curl the tailbone under, lifting up the pelvis, pressing the hands down. This will compress the throat area, invigorating the thyroid and improving its function. If there's space, you can take your arms underneath the body and interlace the hands or just press the palms flat on the ground. Be careful with your neck. Do not move the head side to side. And if you have a neck or back injury, you may want to assess the body and understand and honor it. If it does not feel good, come out of the posture early. To come down, we'll lower vertebrae by vertebrae, releasing the arms out of the way and slowly taking the knees to the chest counterbalance the back bend. Moving bridge will be our last posture. So roll over to the side and grab your strap. You want to take the strap in between the hands, uh, shoulder width apart, placing the strap over the lap. With the inhale, We'll start moving up with the pelvis as the arms go up and over onto the ground. And as we exhale, we come back down. Keep moving with the breath. And see if you can deepen and lengthen your breath. Finding a nice rhythm and unity of breath and movement. This unity 
This rhythm will help the body to relax. It will help you clear your mind. After several repetitions, you'll release the strap and once again move the knees to the chest, releasing all the tension out of the back and preparing yourself for final relaxation. Corpse pose, we lengthen the body, relaxing the feet. And dropping the arms right next to the body, palms facing up. Close the eyes. 